Hello! Now, in a previous video, uh, well yesterday, I showed you how to uh, connect a, uh, an airstone to 15mm domestic plumbing via an end cap. There we go, that was it. Now, I thought today I'd show you um, the other end of it and connecting the compressor to the 15mm uh, air circuit. So, what we've got here is a compressor, uh, an aquarium air compressor. This one is rated at uh, 60 litres per minute and it can pump to a depth of um, uh, a maximum of about uh, 3 metres. Okay, it's 0.3 bar pressure. So, at, uh, but at 3 metres it won't, it won't produce uh, 60 litres of air. It's a curve, so it drops off. So basically at, uh, at two meters, which is probably the maximum we use it at, it will deliver about 40 liters of air, potentially. And uh, of course, at less depth, it'll deliver more. So, um, here we go. Other people make this look so elegant in unboxing videos. Uh, okay, so there's our compressor. Very nice, it is too. Um, and um, here's some bits and bobs to come with it. Okay, you've got a manifold, uh, a bit of hose to connect like that and this adapter which goes screws on the front of that de, 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 and then that goes in there and then normally you have uh, aquarium air pipe uh, four millimeter internal diameter it's same same as this stuff but it's usually um, transparent you know you can have loads of them coming out today you can have ten of them coming out uh, ten of them coming out, each having an airstone on it into a different aquarium. But we don't want that. We don't want that. Okay. But um, we need this bit. Of, we need this bit of pipe because um, our fifteen millimeter pipe, um, whatever that is. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Um, uh, this this is our fifteen millimeter pipe, which is that's going to connect all around the one. Uh, we're going to use this because it's nice and rigid. It's um, it's too big for this, All right? So um, uh, I can use this bit here. Um, you'd think, but you know, obviously this fits on perfectly. Uh, it does actually conveniently just wet it. Um, conveniently uh, go fit really snugly into this pipe. In this instance, so. I'm going to I'm going to use that. Now the trouble is, the trouble is. I'll just show you. If I just snip that off a bit. Uh, if I push that onto there, let me just uh, tighten this short. Show you. If I just push that onto there, there's no way on earth that pipe is going to fit over that. Um, that brass barb with that on there. You see, it's not gonna, it's just not gonna go over. And we need that, we need that. Otherwise, this will just pull off, yeah. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do, get rid of that for now. What I'm gonna do is, um, bit of, bit of, bit of magic. Okay, so, Okay. Put a bit of this pipe, and um, before I do anything, I'm going to stick an insert on the end here. Because I will need to connect this to something in the end, but um, I'll just do this now. Let's, let's just blanking. These are really stiff. 
Right, um, now I'm going to drill a hole through here, and it may not make sense for a few moments, but bear with me. Okay, so now I've got a nice neat hole through here. So what I'm going to do now is cut between these two holes, cut through half the pipe. Okay. There we go. Cut through half of it, yeah. Nice and clean. Now the idea of having a hole uh, at the end of each cut is that um, any tendency for the material to rip will be mitigated because the tension is uh, distributed around that hole rather than just very close to the tear. Okay. So now we've got that there. So if we I'm just going to dip that in a bit of water, so we'll just make that a bit wet. We can put that in here, and so that'll feed all the way down into there. And what will help me even more is a pencil. Okay, so that's going down. Got a long way into that pipe. Now, I just trim off, trim off uh, the excess of the pipe, some of that excess. Now, um, this can push on, screw that in, screw that in a bit. this can push on, as far as it can go, yeah, look, and then if we just leave that, leave the slotted side at the top, got a Jubilee clip here, yeah, so I just put it over the end, come around here, and then just tighten that up. Okay, now, there we go, look at that, that's a really good, strong fix, and that's airtight, uh, you know, I would imagine. Um, and it's, it's gripped the pipe, so it's all nicely gripped there. Okay, now, whoop. Now we want this to feed into our air circuit. So imagine this is a loop all the way around, all the way around the pond. It can be like 25 meters diameter, whatever. Okay, and uh, we're going to fit the air feed into one part of it, and the outputs come at various points. You can have maybe six outputs if you wanted to. The reason for making it into a circle is that it will evenly distribute pressure to each of these, to each outlet. Yeah, if it's just one line, the one at the end, the poor one at the end, not going to get much because the other ones have taken it already. Basically, the pressure drops off the further you go along the pipe. But with a loop, it equalizes the pressure. Okay, so it's much better. So we put that in there. Okay. Now on this one, I've just put an end cap. Okay, so that's completely blocked off. Uh, for this for this demonstration, and um, we'll get the air stem, which we did today. Put that in there. Now that should all be connected. So if I plug this in, it should all be working. Um, now what would be nice, just to show you that it's working. Coming over here to the kitchen sink. 
kitchen sink drawer, whatever that is. Um, there we go, that's all makeshift pond. Voila! Okay, cheers.